So here I am in the Anchor Road car park with my mate Santi. Say hello, Santi. Good boy. On the back seat. Um, and I'm about to recce the uh, Hampshire Hoppit Marathon route. Right, Santi's good to go. Here we are in the car park. All right, Santi, let's go. Come on then. Well, here we are. This is the start of the Hampshire Hoppit. In three months' time, this will be a busy spot. Lots of tents. Beer tents, registration tent, kit tent, hot dog booth, cups of teas. On uh, this beautiful sun, uh, Saturday morning, it's lovely. This is actually the start of the, this is where the arch will be, the finish arch. The start arch, it's a beautiful part of Kingscliff Stables and the race begins going up towards that mast, although we don't go to the mast. Initially we turn right at the top. So that's the first half mile done, it takes you to the top of the flat field, so you've got a nice warm up there. There we are looking back towards where we started. That is about a half mile straight run. Santi's enjoying it. What do you think Santi so far? Got another 25 and three quarter miles to go. When you're at the top of White Hill the views are really stunning and you can see the track that we'll be heading towards and running on in about I don't know 15 20 minutes time. Just at the top there can you see that? So we're exactly two miles now and we're crossing the main road, well it's not a very busy road, to, I think it goes to Overton. Um, and this will have professional traffic management here. So your crossing will be safe. We can, if needs be, just stop starting traffic. And we're gonna go over there. Wayfarers will carries on over there. So that's what we're doing now. So we've just come from down there. Views up here, wonderful. As you can see, this is, this is probably the highest point of the whole race. It's, it's roughly mile three, and this is also significant. This is where the half marathon mountain splits. So the half marathon turns left, and the mountain goes straight on. I hope the uh, weather's as nice as this on June the 18th. Well, this is an amazing view. Is that right? Lovely. Dog. This is an old Saxon burial ground I think, at the top of the hill, which is quite interesting. And there's a water stop that they must have created. And into the, just after mile six, there's this lovely valley we're going to run down now. It takes us to the 834 eventually, although we're not going straight. We're going to have to do a dog leg to come to the subway, but it's a beautiful part of the run. So here's the uh, subway coming up under the 834. It's all pretty well signposted, but we will have marshals in the building. Look, see, still following the Wayfarer's Walk. Wayfarer's Walk. The Missy Bible Way, the car thingy. And here's the subway. Hopefully, there won't be a pond to navigate through. This is where my dog has his drink, has his hippopotamus trick. Oh dear, dear, dear. Well, there's a small section of country lane now. Hopefully, you won't see any transport, farm traffic maybe at most. But uh, we have to be careful, so keep to the left. It's about half a mile before we're back on the footpath. So after a fairly boring but fast three quarters of a mile of road, country lane really, uh, we're back onto the footpath. We go through this gap here. There will be marshals, of course, up this restricted, restricted byway. Lead on, Santi, lead on. No, you're going the wrong way, mate. Up the hill. It's a lovely path, this. So here we are, this is 10.71 miles. And this is a lovely part, another lovely part, one of my favorites. We're gonna have a water station here. And there's marshalling, of course. This is where you disappear and go along that 
beautiful footpath. Look quite a great place to hang out by actually. Here we go, this is the footpath which they've currently constructed for us over the A34. I'd like to pretend they did just for the Hampshire Hobbit, but of course they didn't. interesting this is the old disused railway line between Newbury and Winchester I guess eventually so it's all completely overgrown now I don't even think it's a footpath down there but it's a way up across this so we're carrying on now up to the old Newbury road which is much quieter at the top here it will be marshalled by traffic managers who look after your crossing, who can have the power to stop traffic because it is one of the busier roads. When you get to here, it's about 13.2 miles, you are halfway. So we've crossed the old Newbury Road now. There's another of these quiet country lanes. You won't see much traffic, but please be careful as you run along it. Um, we've got about a mile of this, I'm afraid. But it's good, you know, you can get a good speed up. Some of you might use it to recover a bit from all the hills that we've been running up and down up to this point. Anyway, enjoy it. This lane is actually the Hangers Way, um, which we're going to run along for a good while, but when it becomes footpath. I'm not quite sure what my dog's doing here. Um, Santi, what exactly are you doing? Um, so it's a nice quiet lane. You can run along the verge if your feet hurt. Uh, there's some gypsies there. Look, can you see at the bottom? Uh, they're very friendly, they don't bite, they're <laughs> nice. Say good morning to them, they say good morning back. Very nice people, I found. And uh, yeah, we've done about nearly 14 miles now. It's a nice, lovely route. I'm sure you'll agree. This uh, small junction here is the end of the country lane, or it's not the end of the country lane, but it's where we're going to leave the country lane because just up here as we're about to see is the track which is in fact the official hangers way hangers way, hangers way and um, we're going to follow this now for oh, miles and miles and miles very nice long distance footpath towards Overton and beyond Santi knows the way, look. Good lad. So this is typical of what the Hangers Way has in store for you. It's just beautiful, quiet track. Very good surface. Um, goes slightly uphill, I suppose, all the way. Um, but nothing too punishing. Nothing like the first seven or eight miles. It's good. Oh, this is an interesting point on the course because this is where the half marathon rejoins the main route the marathon carries on and keeps on the hangar way as well so the hangar's way is now being used by both the half marathon and the marathon course very nice too and santi <laughs> 